It isn't difficult to anticipate the abnormality that results from an incompetent expiratory valve. But before we produce that abnormality, let's take another look at the flow of gas as it exits the ventilator bellows. Normally during inspiration, the ventilator bellows descends and pushes the gas through the CO2 absorber and into the inspiratory limb. The CO2 absorber removes CO2 from the previously exhaled gas. What prevents the ventilator bellows contents from going backward down the expiratory limb? Well, that's the expiratory valve, of course. So when the expiratory valve is incompetent, previously exhaled gas that fills the ventilator bellows is now able to be pushed backward down the expiratory limb and be rebreathed at the Y piece. The expiratory limb is an enormous reservoir of previously exhaled gas, and so there's no shortage of CO2 to be rebreathed when the expiratory valve is incompetent. Therefore, even relatively small incompetencies of the expiratory valve can be detected easily on the capnogram as an elevation of the inspiratory portion of the capnogram. After a while, with rebreathing of CO2, the expiratory portion of the capnogram, or the end tidal CO2 value, will increase as well.